Today, we will talk about patch deployment options in BMC client management. There are two methods of patch deployment. First is patch job and second is patch group. As this is a two-part video, we will see how patch job works. In the console, go to the patch management, patch jobs, right click on it and create patch job. This window will help you define the name of the patch job. Let's say Google Chrome, click on next. In this window, you can define what kind of patches you want to deploy. You can select patches based on applications type and severity. For this demo, let's consider important and critical and keep the type as security patches. You also have an option to exclude the patches which needs to be acquired from vendor. You can check this box to avoid adding such patches. Next section details the patch release date restriction. We have three options. First option is pretty self-explanatory where there will be no restriction on patch release dates. In the second option, let's say if we set 30, by setting 30, patches released during last 30 days will be ignored. Third option lets you define a date. All the patches released after that date won't be taken into account. For now, we will set it up as no restriction. Next is product family name. Here you have two options. The first option will patch all product families based on the selected criteria. The second option on the other hand will let you select the product family. As we have named our patch job as Google Chrome, we'll go ahead and select Chrome as our product family and click on next. On the previous page, we saw what to deploy. Now we will see how to deploy. These settings will help you set a schedule to apply patches. The first option you see on this page is wake up devices. This option can be used to remotely power on managed devices. However, to enable it, your managed device requires LAN adapter that can activate the wake on LAN functionality. If your network adapter settings are configured correctly, and if you have tested this before in BCM, you can use it in the patch job as well. We'll keep the option unchecked for now. Now in the deployment schedule section, you have to define a frequency at which patch job is to be executed. Dropdown will help you define daily, weekly and monthly options. For example, I want to patch my device every second Saturday. So I will select second and I will select Saturday. Time period section will let you decide the exact time frame at which you want to initiate the deployment and end the deployment. If you select deploy only during this time, you get two options. The first option suggests that as and when the patch inventory is updated for the device, patch manager will start downloading those patches. And when the schedule hits, the installation will be performed. If you select the second option, the download happens just before the execution starts. So for now, we can select allow files to be downloaded to devices prior to start time. The next is start and end time. Start and end time is a time frame in which the installation will be performed. If we do not define the end time, the execution will run till the installation is completed. Now, if we define an end time, patching will stop at the end of the time period. Even if your patches are not installed at that point, the remaining patches will be resumed at the first task during the next window. The second option is deploy anytime according to the above schedule. When we check this, patches will be applied whenever available. So for this demo, let's select daily and click on next. On this page, you have three options, assign device groups, assign devices, and assign. For now, I will select assign devices. I will select the device and click on OK. I'll click on finish. As soon as I hit finish, you can see a page will be displayed with all the information which we have selected during the patch job creation. Now let's check the available tabs. The first one is active patches. Active patches will show the patches which are currently required by the assigned devices. As we selected Google Chrome and only one patch was missing on that device, it will only list that patch. As you can see, the status is set to to be downloaded and the total number of devices affected by this patch. We'll see the next tab, which is assigned devices. 
During the configuration, we assigned a specific device to it. As you can see, the details show that the transfer is in progress, meaning the download is already completed and the patch is now getting transferred on this affected device. You also have an option to assign device groups. As we have just selected one device, we will skip this part. Next is deployment options. These are the default options defined by the patch deployment. When you click on this link, it will take you to the patch deployment options page. As I have not made any changes on this page, I'll click on cancel. Now next tab is history. History will show you when was the last time patch job evaluation was done. It will also show you the count of the installed patches, pending patches, critical pending, failed, and the number of devices assigned to the patch job. Now let's go to the active patches tab. As you can see, the Google Chrome patch is installed on the device. If I go to the assigned devices, the same status will be shown here. If you want to take a quick look at the process of the installation, you can right click on it and click on view log file. Log file will show the entire process. I will close it. If at any point you want to make any changes to the patch job, you can do so by right clicking anywhere in active patches or in assigned devices and select edit patch job. It will take you to the same options which we defined earlier. You can make changes to these options and click on finish. This will re-evaluate the whole patch job and you will be presented with the new option. That's how the patch job functions. Thank you.